sorry this is not going to be a really really uh, informative video about lab assessment 7 I'll try to remake this video but I think maybe I won't because the exam is coming close by so I'll give you a brief introduction of what we are going to do uh, and I will uh, tell you the, how the code works I will not code myself because you won't believe I actually coded everything in front of everything thought it was recording and it wasn't so it is very very sad um, see I've done everything here and yes so I have an assignment 7 as 7 okay so this is a database so if you see the results Uh, if you see the results, uh, if you see the tables, there are result and student mark. If you see result, it contains this, right? Select star from result, it contains this. And select star from student marks, it contains this. So how is our thing going to work? Is that we will pass a input parameter to a procedure, which is our roll number. From that roll number, it will access the name, which is in the result. From that name, it will go to the student mark and search the marks of that, uh, uh, that marks associated with that name. Right? It will take the marks, apply some if else conditions on it, and uh, set set class in our uh, set class uh, this set class in a result table, and return us a. Uh, a variable uh, output as a variable right from the procedure which will be returned by our calling function we are going also going to make a stored function which we are going to call right and uh, the output to that call will be the grade okay so I'll tell you it's pretty easy if you uh, see into it so there is a delimiter so I have created a procedure prop grade it takes an input uh, RNO int and output it gives a out uh, and it is grade and varchar so it outputs grade okay so begin and then I declared int and then I selected marks into m from std marks where name so because std mark doesn't have roll number right so where name and then I selected the name from result where roll number is RNO and I got this this I, this is what I was saying I was I select distinction into grade so distinction then first class into grade and higher second class into grade so I'm storing these values into grade right so that uh, when I'm outputting grade into my function it is uh, I will come to that so we do this and if it doesn't match any of these conditions right, these conditions are given in the uh, here over here right 1500 990 989 and this so uh, from here to here is what i have written in that if statement if it doesn't match any condition i've set it to dash dash right and i'm updating result set class with whatever right so update result set class with higher second class where roll number is i don't know so this is how i do it and i end this so now we create a function so create function is the uh, syntax is create function function name and the variable it takes in right returns what does it return right uh, the data type uh, it returns then we write a keyword called deterministic then we begin and then we uh, declare everything in declare call procedure return something and then end it okay so then we declare our variable so we declare a variable called grade which is a varchar which is going to be returned now uh, call press in call prog grade we have if we see here we have in rno we, uh, and we are going to give a grade to which it is going to output so uh, we give it to grade right which we declared over here and we give an rno uh, this is the roll number uh, of the student right whose class we are trying to set right uh, and then it will return grade right so once it returns grade, right? Uh, so if you execute the command, what happens is, let's see how the code runs. I'll tell you how the code runs. 
So uh, let's say we do select func grade one and it gives you distinction. Okay. What one does? So one goes in, one goes from here to in here, then it goes to call proc grade, right? It gives one and grade. Okay, so one and grade is given over here. Okay, from one and grade it will go to proc grade. So it will give one and grade over here. Okay. So it is one, okay. So select marks into M from stud marks where name is equal to select name from result where roll number equal to one, right? Select name from result where roll number is one, right? Select name from result where roll number is one. So select name from result where roll number is one. So roll number is one, the name is Harshad. Harshad is the name, so it will be Harshad. So select marks into M from stud marks where name is equal to Harsha, right? So we get the marks of Harsha from stud marks, which is 1400, okay? So we get it 1400, right? And then it checks if it is this, uh, right? Then it selects distinction into grade. And it sets, uh, so it will go here and it will check this condition. So this condition passes because it is 1400 is between 990 and 1500. So it will select distinction into grade. So the grade var care variable, which is our output, will get the uh, distinction uh, set into it, right? And will update result set class equal to distinction where roll number is equal to RNO, right? Uh, or RNO here was one, so roll number is equal, roll equal to one, right? So uh, result set class distinction. So uh, this will go here, right? And set the class to distinction, okay? Right. Similarly, uh, right. Um, so to verify that I am saying the truth, let us delete a few rows. Right. Uh, wait. Uh, let's update a few rows to set it to null again. So update result set uh, class equal to mm -hmm, where. Uh, role is greater greater than one right yes so two rows are changed uh, wait uh, let's uh, where role is greater than zero let's set it this way right so three rows are uh, three rows are changed. so if we see the result is empty again so if we select uh, right select star from result you'll see that it is empty, right? Now we will select uh, proc grade, proc grade, and then we'll pass the roll one, right? And it says null. Huh. Oh, wait, wait very very sorry we don't call proc grade we call func grade sorry i call the procedure directly which returned nothing which, because it requires two parameters so it re returned null sorry for that stupid mistake let's call func grade and get this over with, right so you'll see this works so it returns distinction now you might say that well it shows the thing right select star from result and there you have it only the first is uh, set to distinction and the others aren't right if you now pass let's say uh, select uh, funk grade 2 and 3 then this is supposed to work and mm, you'll have all three. So this was lab assessment seven. It was fairly easy to remember it. Just remember, you do not even need to remember a lot of it. You just need to remember the syntax of how to write a procedure, which we know from the earlier and how to write a function, which you have to understand that you will write create function, function name, and then an input, whatever your input is, returns what data type, then deterministic, then begin, then your declare statements, your whole code returns whatever the data type uh, variable returns a variable of the data type that you mentioned in the returns, whatever, 
right in the function defin uh, function the first line right you and then you end it and you set the reset the delimiter and there you have it you call the function and totally get it so this was uh, lab assessment 7